Greetings fine folk of YouTube, it is I, Jacob, and I, Dave, and we're in the studio today to tell you all about AMD's latest driver package. But wait, don't stop the video just yet. It's that time of year when AMD, feeling the festive spirit and the warmth of a few mulled wines, releases its major Radeon software update. This is packed with new functionality and features, including updates to Radeon Chill, performance metrics, Wattman, fan curves, and the feature you've all been waiting for, you can now talk to your graphics card through your phone. Yes, Radeon, start recording. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. The software team at Radeon has been riding high after news broke earlier this year that its graphical drivers were the absolute bee's knees. According to a third-party study, its drivers were the most stable around. Yes, AMD did commission that study itself, but nevertheless it did a lot to dispel the years of anecdotal evidence that AMD drivers just weren't up to snuff. The red team is surely hoping to carry that momentum through into 2019, a potentially colossal year for both Radeon and Ryzen. But for now, let's take a look at the software itself, and there is a lot to the latest Adrenaline 2019 update. Some features are catered more towards enthusiasts, and some suited best to novices. We're told a lot of these features were requested by you lot too. So it's your fault. AMD has ranked all the features you requested through its feedback form in order of most requested to least, and the most requested feature was, drumroll please, Refined Performance Metrics. You couldn't think of anything better than that. In fact, it was the first, ninth, and tenth most requested feature. How does that even happen? But rather than list every new feature in the update, here's that list real quick. We picked out three of the most important new Adrenaline features you might want to check out yourself, though. We're told one of the biggest issues facing AMD's software division is trying to get gamers to actually use the functionality baked into the Radeon software. While nowadays most gamers expect to have to download day one drivers to get optimal performance out of their games, that doesn't necessarily equate to utilising non-essential functionality hidden behind a host of menus. Even features such as FreeSync can be left switched off, simply because some people just don't snoop around the settings. So to combat those ineffectual techies, AMD has rolled out the advisors. These are three features set to make sure gamers are getting the absolute most out of their AMD hardware. First up, the Game Advisor. Built into the overlay functionality, which you can pull up with Alt-R in-game, this monitors performance for a brief period and recommends suggestions and optimizations depending on your system specs and performance. Yeah, after 90 seconds of monitoring, the system will output a bunch of stats, followed by a list of potential in-game changes you can follow if you so please, to optimize your game further. It is pretty simple stuff, such as decrease quality, turn off ambient occlusion, or adjust your resolution, but it could make all the difference to gamers that 99.9% .9 of the time install and play without much regard for the options menu. The settings advisor is a similar beast. This feature focuses on the dusty old Radeon settings lying dormant within your drivers. Accessible via the Radeon driver window, this will offer up recommendations to turn on settings such as Radeon FreeSync, Virtual Super Resolution, Enhanced Sync, and Radeon Chill. Lastly, there's the Upgrade Advisor. This adds functionality to the Game Manager from previous driver versions, but now compares your system to the minimum and recommended specs for various titles. If your system doesn't meet the requirements for a game, or if you want to know what you could be getting with another hardware loadout, the Upgrade Advisor will also offer guidance on potential GPU or CPU upgrades to hit those min and rec specs. Red team only, of course. Yeah, of course. AMD Link is the mobile companion app for your Radeon graphics card, which launched during last year's big Christmas driver blowout. After a year of feedback, however, there are some big changes to how the app works and what it's capable of. Aside from changes to the utility and ease of use, one of the most notable upgrades is the inclusion of game streaming. Rather than settle for third-party options or those solutions limited to particular game libraries, AMD has rolled out its own Android and iOS home streaming solution through the AMD Link app. In an ideal world, with a healthy 5GHz connection, AMD reckons this streaming app is capable of 4K 60Hz gaming beamed over to any capable device. User settings for resolution, bitrate, stream metrics, audio bitrates, host PC settings, controller config and layout, and frame rates are all accessible through the user interface on the app too. Yeah, you just have to pick a game through the game manager, or just pick up where you left off from your PC. And that's all bootable hands-free. All you have to do is shout, Radeon, start streaming! at your phone and then you're away. Yeah, it's really easy. Mm. AMD also supposedly accounted for both schools of thought on how to pronounce Radeon. So whether you say Radeon or Radeon, the app will apparently know what you mean. But we all know which is the correct way to pronounce it, right? Feel free to hash that one out in the comments. Yeah, they love pronunciation down in the comments, don't mm, they? They absolutely yeah. do. Yeah. Another one for those pronunciation buffs, Radeon Relive or Relive for VR is more akin to game streaming than it is to Relive Relive capture software. 
It allows you to stream your Steam VR games from your home PC over to a standalone wireless headset. The HTC Vive Focus, Oculus Go, Samsung Gear VR and Google Daydream platform are first up on the roster. All you need to do is install the Relive VR app on the headset or phone through the appropriate app store, switch on Remote Play and Steam VR integration within the Radeon settings and run the app. Of course, there are some limitations. First up, you better have 5 GHz wireless at the ready or else you might get a little queasy. Second, standalone headsets don't offer the full 6 degrees of freedom necessary for full motion in many VR titles. Either 3 degrees of freedom or a gamepad will work instead, but only if supported in-game. So, there you have it. Three of the headline features within the Adrenaline 29 update to look out for. But if performance is what you crave, the quality of life upgrades to existing functionality within the software will likely have the most impact on overall performance, or thermals at least. This driver package update is a little light on direct optimizations for any recent games, they've mostly been covered by day zero patches, and so algorithm changes to Radeon Chill, zero RPM fan modes, and auto overclocking will be of the most interest to you FPS heads out there. So make sure to give the Adrenaline 29 update a whirl, and let us know in the comments what you have found out so far. Thank you for watching, give us the old like, subscribe and ring of the bell, and check back for more gaming and hardware goodies here and over at PCGamesN.com. Yes. Radeon! End recording! Ra Radeon! Radeon, end recording! I hate you so much.